Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install mods in 2024. Mods are downloadable programs usually made by other players that change the way the game looks or acts or in simple terms, modify the original game. These features can range from adding new mobs to the game, adding shaders to the game or adding new functions and plenty more. Now, before we start, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. But if you do have an issue, leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. So before we start, we're actually going to need a mod loader that will allow us to run our mods. The main two are usually Forge and Fabric. Both are very good, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to be downloading and using Forge. This means if we choose to install Forge, we can only use Forge type mods and can't use Fabric type mods and vice versa. So just be aware. So if you head to the first link in the description, you'll find yourself on the official Forge website. From here you can choose which version you'd like to download. I'm going to go for the 1.20.4 then simply hit installer and now just wait 5 seconds and then hit skip in the top right. The download will begin and while we're waiting consider dropping a like on the video and maybe a nice comment. Next up head to the description once again and find the second link in the description which is going to take us to the Curse Forge website. This is one of the main hubs out there and you'll find tons of mods here. First things first select Forge on the left hand side as that is our mod loader and then you can sort by latest update, popularity, A to Z but I'm going to choose total downloads because these are the community's favourite mods. Some of these are tiny tweak mods like mouse tweaks that change the mouse inventory functions or larger mods like Tinker's Construct. For the purpose of this video I'm heading to page 2 and grabbing plenty of biomes. Once on the page you'll see a description or on images you'll see all the biomes within this mod. Head to files, look for the 1.20.4 version, hit the three dots and download. Wait five seconds and the download will begin. Cool, now we can close down our browser and open up our downloads folder. Drag our two downloads straight to the desktop. First off, double click Forge. If nothing happens, try right clicking and open with Java. Now if you don't have Java as an option to open with, this may be because you have never downloaded Java on your computer and Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a full, very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description, along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once everything is working, working you should see the mod system installer. Click install client, ok and let it do its thing. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails it's probably because you either have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open so ensure you've got both of them closed. If they are closed and it's still not working it may be because you haven't played this current version of Minecraft yet so what you need to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, load up 1.20.4 for example, wait till you're onto the title screen just like this and then close Minecraft down and then simply retry the launcher. If everything is good however you'll see it successfully installed and we can now delete the launcher from our desktop. We can now go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. It should now by default load in with the Forge version you've just installed but just in case it hasn't head over to installations, double check modded is selected, click the versions drop down menu, select the Forge version and click create. Everything should work correctly, just load up Minecraft. Once Minecraft is launched you should see Forge in the bottom left, which reassures us that everything's going well and working so far. From here, click the mods button and then open mods folder. We can now drag and drop our mod that's on our desktop straight into this folder. To get Minecraft to recognize the mods, we have to restart, so close out of Minecraft and fully reload it up. When using mods, it can be a good idea to back up a world before using it, as playing mods on an already pre made vanilla world can go a bit pear shaped sometimes. So I'm just going to create a new world. World. As you can see when exploring the world you can see tons of unique and interesting biomes which shows us that the mod is working correctly. Please leave a like if this video helped you out and of course have a lovely day. Goodbye. 